a butt raping bat that has terrorised Tanzania since 1995. You're watching Cryptid Profiles, this is all things creepy, let's begin. Popa Bawa literally translates to bat wing, and when you see the artist's depiction you can clearly see why it gets that name. Its origins, though unclear, seem to lie in 1995, in a series of islands just off the coast of Tanzania. A sweeping case of mass hysteria took place, with earliest reports tracing the original sightings back to the island of Pemba. These sightings quickly spread throughout the Zanzibar archipelago, and it wasn't long before they reached the mainland. It is believed to be a shape-shifting shetani, a shetani being the East African version of demon, or malevolent spirit. Since the initial outbreak in 1995, there have been consistent sightings up until the present day, with sightings tending to peak at times of stress such as the election cycle. It is generally described as a large bat with a singular eye and an almost humanoid appearance. However, it's reported that it is able to shapeshift into many forms, including a true human and various other native animal species. The Popabawa is said to visit at night, usually paralyzing its victim first, and there is a pronounced history of it being reported to have sexually assaulted its victims, namely sodomizing them. The Popa Bawa then threatens its victim with death if they don't spread the word about their sexual assault. In theory, this allows the Popa Bawa to very quickly spread to new victims, and is likely the cause for the outbreak spreading so fast and getting so much attention. The primary theories surrounding the Popa Bawa are that it has ties with sleep paralysis. During sleep paralysis, someone is awake, yet their body has still paralysed them, believing them to be in the dream state, and as a result, sometimes hallucinations occur. Considering we often have dreams and nightmares about things we've experienced or heard of that day, it's not unreasonable to think someone might have heard about the Popa Bow that day and then gone to bed with anxiety and as a result experienced sleep paralysis in which they hallucinated about the Popa Bow. This would allow it to almost behave like a mental virus. It would only take one person to have this experience and then tell someone else about it for it to then spread to them. And due to part of the mythology being you have to tell someone else about it, it's able to spread very quickly and very rapidly. Alternatively, this could indeed be some kind of spiritual demonic entity. But until we have a more thorough grip and understanding of sleep paralysis, we'll just have to come up with our own opinions for now. Please leave a comment below if you have any theories on the Popa Bauer, as well as any other cryptids you'd like me to cover in future episodes. And other than that, like the video if you did, share it with a friend, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.